So first thing first, cook curry lamb, you need lamb. I got 1.975 kilogram here, almost two kilogram to lamb. Got spring onions, otherwise known as scallion. Got onions. We need lots of onions. And one of the main ingredients is thyme. We need um, fresh thyme, not dried thyme, fresh thyme. Some tomatoes, a um, lot of garlic, some black pepper, coarse black pepper. And I also got the black, um, the black pepper grain. Some coconut milk and some curry. I use I use um, mild magras because it's more um, I don't know it, it gives a good flavor. This um, this type and then you need some salt. So first thing first, you gonna have to dice dice up these. Um, this lamb, cut them off in small bits.
little spring on the ends. Uh, I'm just gonna use these two big ones. Big ones is cool. that time give you a nice smell and a nice taste yeah. it's more of a smell though time makes um, meat smell is very nice so I run that I'll put two tomatoes in there I'll put three still not for three so I'll put this one later on these later on you can always taste it and um, if you need more salt you can just add some more but I still always start off with, with one better to be safe so with the um, curry now I'm gonna put five five tablespoons of this curry so that's one Three, four, five. And the layer on my is cooking down. I'm gonna put some more curry. So now I need to stir this up. Yeah, so I'm gonna. I think I should be able to stir in here. It's gonna be a bit of a mess, but put in a bigger container. But I'll just stir it in here. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna put this in a bigger, a bigger pot. Up. This thing is that to get a better flavor, it's good if you can like do this like overnight. So you do it the night before, put in the fridge. That way the meat get more um, flavor, marinade. But you, you can also do it like this. Just do it and then straight cook it. You still still taste nice. Yeah, so after all the five minutes, this marinating up. So we've got a nice big pot, we're gonna do the curry going. The curry lamb. So I'll put this at the highest temperature that this cooker can go. I'll put it at nine. Then I'm gonna put some oil in. Not a lot of oil, just a bit to cover off the um, bottom. Around that, not too much. Then I'm gonna sprinkle a bit of curry powder in the oil, it burn a bit. So this is getting hot, yeah. The curry is getting hot. So uh, turn this down a bit. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna have to pick out these, you know, brush off the, the onions and stuff and just drop them in. Yeah. 
As the onions, these we're gonna use them later when we're, cook, when we're cooking it down. We're gonna use all the onions and spices that we're putting, but we're separating the meat bit so we can fry it up. Doesn't matter if I put an onion fall inside here, but take off as much as you can. To evaporate so it's like the oil leaves so you know it's a brown time to put the other stuff in so after you know after the water gone and just leave the oil put the other stuff in so now I'm gonna put all my onions tomatoes and stuff I'm gonna put around, put around two or three cups of water. So this is a uh, 120 ml. So let's see, put one, two, I'll put three. Now it's time. We can add back a bit of curry so we're gonna add around half half teaspoon more curry powder depends if you want lots of curry you know Add more, but I have on half. Then I'm gonna sprinkle some coconut milk powder. I'm gonna add a tiny little bit of ketchup. Add a tiny little bit of tomato ketchup. Yeah. 
Add a bit of ginger and garlic paste. Ginger and garlic paste inside. Or a teaspoon ginger and garlic paste. Then I'm gonna add a bit of real dirty ginger. So with this ginger now I'm cutting them up really really small. Stir them up a bit. So now, I'm gonna let it cook for a bit and then I'm gonna taste it, see if it needs more salt. So, I'm gonna turn this down to around six. Put the cover on and let this go and cook. So now rice finish. And as you can see, it's nice and showy. Done. The secret to cook rice is like low heat, really low and slow. So after around 40 minutes, this finish. It's now ready to eat. And the lamb's nice, nice and soft. Things that one well, good thing with lamb, it's easier to cook than goat. If you're doing like curry goat, it takes a bit longer to cook it. But the lamb cooks quicker, more soft. And it's around the same, you know, same texture, same not really the same flavour but almost close. Okay, so after all that work, this is it. Curried lamb, a bit of pear, aka avocado, and a bit of mint leaf, and a bit of white rice. 